Hello everyone, the Bearded Thumb here. How are you doing? Today, I got a little something different planned for the channel. And as you can see here, I got such a fine assortment of beers lined up here. This is going to be a review of all the large party beers, so to say. Or beers that you would probably find at your college dorm party. First things first, full disclosure, I do not condone underage drinking. If you are... Under 21, do not drink. And for anyone over 21, do not drink and drive. And always drink responsibly. Now, with that said, let's get into the premise of this video. All these beers here are popular beers you would see at either a party or, say, someone who's partying on a budget. Most of these beers, when you find them, are sold in packs of 30, and that is what I used for the criteria for this video and I will say before I go into this review there are two disclaimers I have to make on the far right here we have Ice House which is a beer I have tried before and back when I was broke as fuck in college it was the only beer I could really afford so I do have familiarity with this but it has been about five years since I've drank it so I don't really remember if it was actually good or if it was something that I convinced myself was good for the sake of justifying the purchase of it. And then on the far left here is Steel Reserve, a name that just sounds like it's going to give you lead poisoning from the name. But this is for anyone who watches my channel regularly, for my boy, the one, the only, Capone City. This was his broke-ass college beer of choice. So it is in here strictly as a shout-out to him. Capone City, I love you, man. And if I die drinking this, fuck you. Now, here's how this is going to go. With each beer, I'm going to pour it into a cup and examine the color and kind of, you know, make fun out of it based on the color and for satirical purposes, I w might say something based on the taste of it. But I will give an honest review at the end on if I would buy it. And if I would buy it, why I would buy it and what I would buy it for. I will try to be completely honest with all these reviews because I don't want to just shame anything. Because I understand there are people who might actually like this beer. Maybe any one of these. And I don't want you to feel upset and just for the record, anyone who is upset by me upsetting them and talking shit about one of their favorite beers, if one of them are shown here, my favorite beers are Bud Light and Moosehead. So take advantage of that comment section down below to talk as much shit as you want about my favorite beers if it makes you feel better. Full disclosure, on one more note... I am going to edit out the setup for each beer because as of right now, I'm about to put all of these beers off to the side and I will be bringing them up one at a time and I will use a different cup for each beer that I try just to give it a fully fair evaluation and make sure that any previous beer was not influencing my taste opinion of it. And from there, those will be edited out, but this is being shot in one straight shoot and I just want to get that out there so without further ado let's get into this review of all these wonderfully crappy budget beers all right so contestant number one we have ice house probably a staple to just about any college party you have ever attended I used to work a job part-time in retail. I will not say the company's name. But I was making about $80 to $90 a week there. And yeah, on that kind of budget, mixed with a grass-cutting job on the side, this was legitimately the best I could afford. So, fuck it. I used to tell myself, this beer was the shit. But hey, suddenly I get a new job and I am making better money. I can afford slightly better beer in Bud Light and Moosehead. And I have not touched this stuff in probably close to five, six years. Can't give you an exact date, but close enough. So 
Let's crack this motherfucker open and see what it has to offer. If anyone wants to go ahead and criticize my poor technique, well, I'm sorry I'm not a bartender. I stock groceries and ring people up at a register for a living. So I will say that um, I don't think I've ever actually seen the color of Ice House. It kind of looks like the color of my piss after a long night of binge drinking and uh, uh, smells like it too. So, uh, fuck Let's dig into this and see what it has to offer. Not bad. Um, I will say that it's probably about as good as I remembered. Um, would I regularly buy this and willingly drink it? Probably no, because uh, I've just come so much to liking Bud Light lately that, uh, <laughs> I mean, I really can't see myself drinking anything else, but it's not bad considering it does have an IABV and it is, um, you know, fucking dirt cheap to be honest, but, uh, you know, fuck, I'll drink to this. <sighs> you know, that's actually... Not bad for the price. Um, I mean, honestly, I might be a little biased. Maybe my old school taste buds are coming back and falsely convincing myself that this is good when maybe it actually isn't. But you know what? I would say so far, since it's only been one contestant in this game, um, yeah, I, I'd fucking buy this and I would drink it if I was uh, absolutely had to. So, uh... Well, on to contestant number two. All right, I'm sure any hipster out there knows Paps Blue Ribbon, a.k.a. PBR, a.k.a. the shit that's probably on sale at your local dive bar. Um, I've never had this before. I know it's really big with hipsters. There's a bar me and some of my friends go to that'll regularly have, uh, I want to say it's Tall Boys, uh, maybe... Maybe it's 16-ounce cans, but I want to say it's Tall Boys. On uh, Tuesdays and Thursday nights, it'll be on sale, but I'm sorry. I'm not going to stray away from my boy Bud Light and uh, Dilly Dilly. So, uh, you know what? Fuck it. Let's try this right now. Oh, hello. That foamed up quite a bit. Yeah, please... Uh, Ignore it spilling over my uh, beautiful desk here. So, uh, color-wise, it seems fairly similar to the Ice House. Uh, let's take a little smell test here. A little lighter smelling than the Ice House, I would say. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Only way, one way to see how this is going to go, so let's uh, take a shot here. Not bad. Um, huh. Hard to say. Uh, I mean, definitely lighter than the Ice House. I think the Ice House is definitely going to be the uh, more bold one of the group. Now, I know there are some other ice-style beers in here, so maybe I'm speaking a little too soon. But for what I've seen this beer priced at, um, it's not bad. Uh Nothing spectacular, so to say. Uh, let me take another sip here. You know, honestly, if I was going to a party and someone's like, yeah, pick up a 30-pack of some shit, if the place I went to didn't have Ice House and I really didn't know anyone at the party, uh, so far I would say... If that gas station, 7-Eleven, or whatever shithole I went to was selling PBR, so far, given the two choices, if Ice House wasn't readily available, I would definitely not hesitate to buy this. 
it's um I don't want to say strong, but it's got a good taste to it. I mean, it's definitely a solid beer. Uh, I'm honestly impressed by it because the people I do know who drink it, I uh, often tease them about their beer of choice because this is like legitimately what they buy. I mean, they actually buy this regularly and say they enjoy it and I tease them about it. And to those individuals, I won't name names because, I mean, fuck, this is going on YouTube. But you know what? I am sorry. I owe you an apology. This is shockingly an okay beer. So, uh, you know, fuck, I'm going to polish this thing off before I go to the next one. There we go. You see an empty glass? Next beer. All right. Contestant number three is Bud Ice. Uh, this honestly wasn't one of the original contestants, but one of my uh, coworkers actually suggested this while they heard me say this was a video I wanted to make. They said, dude, go to any gas station or 7-Eleven and chances are you're going to find butt ice there. So lo and behold, the first place I went to, they had butt ice. So, you know, I figured, fuck, it was like two bucks, I think, maybe for this 25 ounce can. So, I mean, fuck, I got that. So let's crack this bad boy open and see what it has to offer. Once again, if anyone wants to uh, criticize me on my poor techniques that are leading to a lot of head uh, giggity, the, you know what? Hey, if you're a bartender, tell me what I'm doing wrong and I'll tell you I don't give a shit. So uh, let's give it the old sniff test before we go into the taste test. Uh, kind of smells like the others. Uh, still a pretty dark yellow color. I don't know, maybe some might call that amber Amber seems like too nice and formal of a uh, name or color to give any of these beers contending today. So, fuck it. Let's give it the taste test. <coughs> oh, God. That was awful. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm thinking that went down the wrong pipe because that was like instant gag reflex. Oh, God. Ugh. Oh, fuck. Whew. Damn. Okay. Um, all right. Give me a second here. All right. I'm not editing this out. Uh, wow. That was really bad. I honestly think that went down the wrong pipe. Oh, shit. <coughs> fuck. Okay. All right. Whew. Okay, let me try. Oh, God. I'm probably going to regret this. But uh, first things first, the uh, word premium. Let me get that right up there. The word premium on this can is being used very loosely. Uh, okay, I'm going to give this one more try, but I really feel I'm going to fucking regret this. All right. Going to try and uh, not get too excited here. Make sure it goes down the right pipe for a fair evaluation. Nope. <coughs> still still pretty bad. I'm sorry. I, I can't finish that. Uh, okay, so honest review part here. Um, honestly, don't buy this. Uh... What's the ABV there? Uh, 5.5. If you're looking to buy an ice beer at 5.5 ABV, fucking go with Ice House because this is absolutely, positively fucking disgusting. I mean, I still got a solid uh, couple beers to go here, and uh, I honestly think it's only up from here. I think... Okay, well, we still got still reserve waiting in the repertoire to be the uh, grand finale, but wow, that is really, really bad. So far, this is by far bottom of the barrel, 
I mean, maybe homeless alcoholic by this, but aside from meeting that criteria, you could do much better. So, uh, all right, on to the next beer. All right, the next contestant on here is a Midwest, maybe only a Chicago uh, special, the Old Style. Uh, as I've mentioned in previous videos, being a CPS graduate that I am, and living in Chicago, um, go Wolves, fuck you Milwaukee. Uh, I'm throwing this in here, I don't know if this is available in other places other than Chicago and the Midwest. I know it's brewed out of the, uh, Plank Road Brewery, I believe, in Milwaukee, so it might be available in the Midwest. I know... The restaurant I used to go to when I was younger, a woman there who was a hostess and waitress used to say how she could only get it in Chicago, and when she went to Florida, she wasn't able to get it, but don't quote me on that. I mean, I'm talking about something I heard when I was eight. I'm currently 28, so that was 20 years ago, so well, I honestly don't know. I didn't do much research prior to this video because I really didn't give a shit. This is more of like a, hey, I'm kind of stuck in Chicago, so might as well go with something that's been around since, I mean, fuck, I mean, 1902, and uh, for a while it was a big sponsor, or like the only beer sponsor of the Cubs, uh, go White Sox and uh, Blue Jays, by the way, because uh, fuck the Cubs. So, you know, let's crack this thing open and see what it has to offer. All right, so, so far the color for these beers is staying pretty steadily uh, bad. I mean, it's that dark yellow amber color. Uh, about the same color I see out of my uh, favorite Moosehead. And, I mean, Moosehead's a lager, Old Style's a lager. I think most of these are technically considered lagers, except for the ice beers, which are obviously consider ice brewer or whatever the fuck they are. So, uh, now let's give this the old, uh, smell test. Kind of, uh, meh. Like, kind of tastes, or smells like nothing much. So, all right, here goes the taste test. Okay, so, I mean, nothing spectacular. Kind of, uh, reminds me of PBR. I mean, good, but not great. I mean, I'd bring this to a party if, like, say someone was like, hey, if you're on the way, uh, can you pick up some beer? And if I didn't know most of the people there and didn't feel like they would judge me, and they were people I didn't give a fuck if they judged me, I'd pick up a 30-pack of this if uh, Ice House or PBR wasn't around. I mean, honestly, so far, just because of namesake and notoriety and people like it for whatever reason, i probably go PBR just not to catch crap. But for me personally, if I'm going to be drinking out of that 30-pack, I'm going to pick up the Ice House still. But if those two aren't available, I definitely would not hesitate to buy this. It's not bad. Uh, I can see why it's been around for so long. Even if the people who keep it around, like the people at the bar I go to, this is on draft there, and uh, I don't think I've ever seen anyone under the age of, like, 65 order this, but, I mean, be it just blind loyalty to them, kind of like how so far I have been towards Heidi's house, or if maybe it's actually good compared to other stuff they've tried, I definitely don't judge anyone for saying they like this beer, so, uh... You know what? I'll take one more swig. You know, hey, Chicago, uh, we're good for a couple things. Corruption, high taxes, and beer that's been being made for a hell of a long time. So, one more drink. And uh, on to the next contestant. Contestant number five. Part of your name makes me hate you already. As I brought up with Old Style, I am from Chicago. I am a Chicago Wolves fan through and through, and Milwaukee's best, 
already has me thinking of one thing, and that is the Milwaukee Admirals. And, um, yeah, if that sorry horse's ass of a team can come from such a shitty-ass city, I am not giving you much leeway going into this taste test. Um, I mean, I would like to sit there and say that I think Milwaukee's best is uh, going to be pretty fucking underwhelming. But, you know, hey, prove me wrong, Milwaukee. Let's get this show on the road. Oh. Okay, that is a uh, lot of suds there. Um. Well, no, that is... All right, so I'm not going to go over the color review. It's pretty much been pretty standard so far. Uh, try to let that uh, foam die down a little bit. So, okay, that's about enough. These beers don't deserve that much respect, so. Salute. Ugh. Maybe this is my bias against the city of Milwaukee, but, um, I'm sorry, Milwaukee, but if this is your best, uh, your best won't do. That's, uh, not as bad as Bud Ice, but that's not saying a hell of a lot. Um, yeah, that's all I could say is if my only options were Milwaukee's best or Bud Ice... If uh, shooting myself wasn't an option, I think I'd go with Milwaukee's best. But after that, yeah, I don't see myself buying this. So, um, dear God, next beer, please. Okay, next up we have Bush Light. Of all the beers I told people I was going to test for this video, this is the one everyone told me was going to be the best, the most drinkable and honestly has me kind of looking forward to this. I know Bush, obviously by the name, is the same company that makes Bud Light and Heiser Bush, obviously. So, you know what? Fuck it. Without further ado, let's crack this open and get this show on the road. So far, this seems to be one of the lighter beers in color. I mean, obviously, given the name, that doesn't surprise me too much. It's uh, kind of got your standard uh, piss yellow color to it. So, uh, you know what? Fuck it. Let's give the old sniff test. Kind of smells like water. I mean, really doesn't have much uh, smell to it. So, fuck it. Taste us. Here we go. Honestly, doesn't really taste like anything. Um, it has really gone down the smoothest so far, if that's uh, even fair to say. I mean... It really doesn't have much taste to it. It's like I finished a bottle of a beer. Since, I mean, I buy bottles of beer. I don't buy beers out of the can regularly. It almost tastes like I bought a bottle of beer. I was going to wash it out to uh, recycle the bottle. And uh, rather than dump out the water that I filled the bottle up with, I decided to drink it. Uh, it kind of tastes like that. But... You know, all kidding aside, uh, honestly, I think this is kind of taken over as the uh, new favorite of if I was told to buy something for a party, I'd probably look for this first, to be completely honest. Because as much as I want to think I have fa been favoring Ice House so far, it, uh, yeah, Ice House is a um, sentimental favorite of mine, but... 
that heaviness to it is kind of unpleasant, comparatively speaking. And honestly, if you're buying a 30-pack of something, you're not looking to drink responsibly, although I fully encourage that. But, I mean, if you're 21, 22, and you're at a college party, and you're just, you know, looking to drink as much as you can, as quickly as can, because, you know, you want to get drunk, or, I don't know, is crunk still a word? That was a, that was a word back when I was in high school, and going into college, crunk, so, uh, if you're still looking to get that, uh, yeah, bush light, I guess, uh, I mean, fuck, I'll finish off this glass, I mean, yeah, not bad, I mean, one of my coworkers told me this is a popular beer pong beer, uh, I wouldn't know from experience, I've never played beer pong, but, yeah, I mean, Fuck, I'd buy this. Uh, not for myself, but if I was asked to bring this to a party, like I said earlier, yeah, I'd fucking bring it to a party and not feel one bit of regret doing so. All right, um, on to the next one. Oh, Miller High Life, how your commercials used to just enrich my teenage years. With the over-enthusiastic delivery guy who would steal other people's beer and force it on them. Uh, I know that guy passed away, so R.I.P. Um, dude, seriously, I mean, I don't want to make any jokes about the guy. Those commercials were fucking awesome. They were true legends of commercial industry. I mean, they were commercials I honestly wouldn't even fast-forward over if I had uh, DVR back then. They were great. So, uh, you know, without further ado, let's open this up and uh, try one for that guy, if nothing else. Alright, so as anyone who's ever seen the Miller High Life or can even see this can right here, uh, see, it says, it calls itself the Champagne of Beers. I am fully not expecting it to live up to that hype. It is, um, I mean, anything that could be bought in a 30-pack, I mean, let's face it, 30-packs are called Dirty 30s for a reason. So, yeah, I'm not setting the bar too high for this. Uh, color has kind of been on par with everything else we've tried. Uh, let's, um... All right, I've tried to kill out of time. That head is not going away. Let's give the old uh, smell test. Okay, uh, smells like a lot of the other beers I've smelled so far. So, well, you know what comes after smell? Got to taste the damn thing. For a second there, I was going to say... It was really good, but then the aftertaste kicked in, and that's where it kind of lost me. Um, it's not the worst beer I've... All right, you know, let me give it one more taste. Uh, I kind of feel the head might be throwing it off, so let me try to get around the foam this time. Okay, so... Best thing I can say about this, if you don't mind the aftertaste of your beer, I can see why it's been around since uh, 1903. It's not bad. It's not good. It's definitely got an aftertaste to it. Uh, working where I work, which I will not mention right now, it is um, nothing like champagne. I am honestly not very impressed with champagne, but, uh, yeah, <sighs> best honest review for this, don't buy, I guess, it's maybe a beer that once you're already drunk, if you're fishing through the cooler, and you kind of have a conscience and think there might be someone who's not as drunk as you. 
and you want to spare their taste buds, maybe grab this because, I mean, once you're three or four deep, you've already kind of uh, passed the area of where taste matters to you, and at this point you're just kind of going for the high score of biggest drunken asshole at the party. But other than that, um, yeah, uh, kind of not much to say here about this. So, I might have been going to finish this cup because I don't want to deal with that aftertaste anymore. So, uh, next challenger. Here we are. The grand finale. Some might say that you finish with the creme de la creme. Well, for lack of a better word, I'm going to call this the creme de la crap. And steel fucking reserve. Back when I was in college, texting my boy Capone City, he was uh, going to school. I won't say where he was going to school at, I will spare that to him. This is by far the highest ABV of any beer I've tried so far, and that is a whopping 8.1. Holy fuck, that just sounds like lead poisoning waiting to happen, even though it's steel reserve. And, uh, high gravity. Uh, Capone City, don't say I don't love you, man, because... Fuck, I'm doing this for you. Ugh, oh, God. So, before I pour this thing... Well, no, actually, I'll pour this thing first. Ugh. Okay, so... While I wait for that head to go down, when I first told Capone City that I was going to be doing this video, he kind of beat around the bush and said, you know, hey man, you know, you're going to do Steel Reserve and that, and my uh, honest response was, why the fuck would I torture myself that badly? I mean, I was sending him a picture of the beers I was already doing, and... Well, you know what? The guy's like a brother to me. He's saved my bacon and enough Call of Duty videos that I have posted on YouTube. So you know what, man? This is for you, bro. All kidding aside, I bust your balls in my videos. You know what, man? I love you. Let's do this thing. And uh, smell test first. Okay, that's got a distinct smell to it. Um... Oh, God. Well, fuck me. Here we go. <clears throat> oh, God. Oh, shit. Okay, that didn't go right... <laughs> that didn't go down the wrong pipe. That was... Wow. Okay. Okay, no. I'm, I'm pouring that out. Right now. Okay. See, that, that's that gone. I pour that in a cup I have off to the side of the screen here. <laughs> Dude. <coughs> Come on, city man. How the fuck did you <coughs> ever drink this shit? Oh, God. I feel like I had to take a fucking belt sand under my tongue right now. Oh, God. Bullshit. Oh, that is awful. Oh, God. Okay, I said I wouldn't edit anything out. I am really testing those fucking limits right now. Okay. Okay. Oh god, that was that was fucking terrible. Okay, first off, I've never seen this in anything other than a tall boy. And honestly, I can see why. It is disgusting. I can see why it was the bar special at whatever fucking bar he went to when he was in college. Uh, I, I honestly can't find anything good to say about this. Uh, I am at a loss for words of any... All right, I'm going to throw this cup out because it's just disgusting. And, uh... Fuck. Okay, I. If I had to have my arm twisted 
to say something good about this beer. Uh, let me read the can here. Extra malted barley select hops for extra gravity. Uh, okay, the select hops, whoever selected those hops should probably be fired. Slow brewed, uh, didn't do much, uh, justice to it. For exceptionally smooth flavor, there is absolutely nothing smooth about this. Uh, the only thing smooth about it is gonna be the, uh, explosive diarrhea I'll probably have from having drank it. But, uh, okay, I gotta say something nice about it. I like the color of silver they used in the can. The 211 on there is quite appealing. If I was completely shit-faced in like maybe a fifth of alcohol into a night of drinking and someone paid me 50 bucks to drink a tall boy of this, I might consider it. That is all. So, all right. Now that that is off to the side, thank you so much for watching. If you stayed through to the end of this video, uh, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, follow me on Facebook. Link to the Facebook page will be in the description below. Um, if you did not like this video and you are upset that I insulted your favorite beer, thumbs down. And if you want to see more of these videos, please utilize the comment section. I am not opposed to doing more beer reviews, even if they're themed. I want to keep my channel mostly focused on video games, but if people end up liking reviews... Let me start bringing more of these cans into view here, uh, in no particular order. If you want to see more beer review videos, please leave it in the comments. I am not opposed to doing any kind of reviews. I will invest into doing this if the viewers want to see it. I would rather my channel be based on video games because video games is a true love of mine. But if people want to see beer reviews, please give me suggestions. Uh, I prefer to do it by category. This particular category was, you know, cheap drinking on a budget beers. So, you know, just, hey, head up the comment section. That is the way to get your point across. Uh, I know some people that I talked to personally wanted me to do this from a first-person point of view to do a face reveal. But at the time of posting this, I have 36 subscribers so, I'll tell you what, if you guys can get me up to a thousand subscribers, I will do a face reveal in another review of whatever is the most popular either beer suggestion or any kind of video game suggestion. And I will definitely upload that with a face reveal because at a thousand subscribers, I can change the URL of my channel. And that is what I really want right now. So, come on, guys. Help a guy out who just drank a lot of shitty beer for the sake of channel content. And until next time, this has been the Beard of Thumb. Have a good one.